Hey everybody, it's John again from Gaspers Automotive Restoration and today we've got a brand new video for you of this 1936 American La France 400 series fire engine. This is really rare. I'm honored to have this in the shop. It's one of 144 ever made. Not just the 1936, but period, ever made. Um, and you'll notice the unique feature of this truck. So this truck is unique because it has the pump mounted between the engine and the driver. Most trucks, whether it's a cab over or a conventional truck, they have the pump mounted behind the driver. And this one is the only one I know of that was ever made that has the pump in between. It's very unique, very complicated. This truck is very well endowed with gold leaf and pinstriping. It's all over the fenders. If you check out right here, which you can see the, the gold leaf here and the, the calligraphy on the, on the fender is just unbelievable. It's got all the wear and patina on it. It looks really cool. Even little chips and stuff everywhere, it just makes the truck, it was used to fight fires. This was never repainted. It's never been touched up. It's left alone like it's supposed to be, and it's all original. There's nothing on this truck that's been messed with. I think the only thing maybe is the seat here was reupholstered back in the 70s probably, but um, it's really nice truck. The fire department is Inlet, New York, They've taken really good care of this thing. They've done all the right things. When something doesn't sound right, they stop. They've done the maintenance. They keep it running. We've got some new tires back here. We'll walk around the back here. Just give you a quick 360. You can check out the hose reel back here. This truck was very expensive when it was built. You can see all this cast aluminum around here and all the cast aluminum corner guards here for the running board. Is, it, this is basically a Cadillac. It's one of the, it's one of the sexiest fire trucks that America La France ever made, period. It had four suction hoses so you could reach a pond way off the road. We'll come over here. Here you can see the pump panel. We've got the pump panel complete here. We, we didn't take this side apart. We didn't need to yet. So you can see this is what it looks like with, from the other side. We've got all the controls. A uh, very unique, very unique gear system here for the valves. If you want to check out these valves in here, this is the valve mechanism here for each one of these valves. You can see, and you pull the lever, and it moves this gear rack. It's just amazing how somebody designed this thing. It's so cool. And this is the big V12, the power plant here. This is American La France's own engine. It is unbelievable. It's overhead cam, single overhead cam, dual spark plugs. It's got four distributors, four GM six cylinder distributors, a monstrous water pump. I've never seen the amount of oil and water that came out of this engine. And there was nothing wrong with it. It's just large quantities. It's crazy. I filled up both of my oil, both my oil drain pan and the water, the huge water to, uh, jug I have with this thing. It was, um, it was crazy. Got America La France cast into the block. And the reason we're taking this all off here, this engine needs to have the cylinder head bolts torqued. And that's the main thing we're doing here. We want to get this engine running for the customer. And this particular engine needs to have that done. So we have to take the cam out. We have to take these exhaust manifold pieces off retorque the bolts on the cylinder head, put it all back together, run the engine at idle, warm it, let it warm up with no load, shut it off, take all this stuff back off again, the cam, the exhaust manifolds, everything all over again, retorque them again, because if you don't do that, you can have a head gasket problem with these. So it's a lot of work and a lot of maintenance, but once it's done, it's done, and it's gonna be good for many years. We're changing all the fluids. We're just going through and tuning it and it's gonna run really, really nice for the customer. So I'm really honored to have this in the shop and I just wanted to show everyone the truck here. You can check out the V12 emblem. And this is the V12 emblem here that goes on top of the, the radiator. Talk about Art Deco. This is just so cool. Goes right up here and it goes right with this emblem right here, America La France's logo the V12, and I cannot wait to take this truck down the road. So stay tuned for the next video and keep that old iron running.